Hello, this video tutorial is an introduction about how to use SMA3 to functionally annotate large sequence datasets. The first we need is a FASTA file with the query sequences to annotate. Here you have an example with the different identifier and the amino acid sequences to annotate. Before to use the annotator, you need to install the BLAST plus package and for that you can execute this command line into a terminal using administrator permission. Alternatively, you can install the package from the NCBI FTP server. Here you can download the files with the source uh, code. In any case, you can download the smart 3s program now from its website in here. Here you have the program and the reference database is in here. You also need to download uh, this uh, database. <coughs> well, in this moment, we will have in the same folder the query dataset to, to annotate, the reference database and the program. Now you have to decompress the database file and make executable the program. Now you can execute in this moment, the smart3s.pl. Uh, if you do it without any argument, you will see a short uh, help document describing the different arguments you can choose. As an example, you can annotate the query dataset using this command line. The input file the database, Uniref uh, 90, and two additional uh, argument in this case. We use uh, the Go argument for obtaining the names for every annotated Go term, and Go sling for obtaining generic Go terms useful to later analyze functional categories. If you want to annotate a transcriptome, you must add the NUC argument. But uh, in this case, it's not uh, necessary. Now, SMART3 is, is running, and when the annotation is ready, you'll have two different files. Uh, they, uh, the two of them, can be opened with any spreadsheet uh, program. These are the two uh, files uh, with, the, with the result and uh, we can open, for example, this one, the, the annotation. This file contains uh, the annotation for any sequence in the query the data set. In the first uh, column has the identifiers and the remaining columns have the different types of annotation uh, gene name, description, ensign, go, keywords, uh, pathways, etc. The other file, the summary file, has a, a summary of the result with the number of annotated sequences uh, in global or by annotation source. Below, you have the number of sequences belonging to different functional categories, for example, biological uh, processes. This list can be used to easily create, uh, for example, figures. This is, a, uh, this is an example, sorry.
with the number of uh, proteins, in this case, uh, belonging to the different uh, uh, categories, to the different uh, biological processes. And that's all. We hope uh, you annotate your sequences using uh, SMA3 and don't forget to write us if you have any question. Good luck!